clock. Oh, oh yeah, stood against the Western Mall. Yeah, gigantic. It's pendulum. Heavy, dull, monotonous clang. And when uh, the minute hand made the uh, circuit of the face and the hour was to be stricken, uh, there came from the brazen lungs of the clock a sound that was clear, loud, sharp, and extremely musical. Yeah. Uh, uh, but of so peculiar a, a note and emphasis that uh, at each lapse of the hour, yeah, the musicians uh, in the Trump Orchestra were constrained to pause. Mm hmm momentarily in their performance, uh, to hearken to the uh, sound. And thus, the uh, waltzers were perfor uh, per uh, perforced momentarily uh, to cease in their evolutions. Hmm. Uh, and while the chimes of the clock uh, yet rang, uh, it was observed that the giddiest of the masqueraders uh, grew pale. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and the more aged and sedate up, uh, press their hands to their brow <laughs> as if confused in their meditation. Yeah, uh, but when the echoes finally ceased, uh, a light laughter. <laughs> had once prevailed oh, yeah. the assembly the musicians they looked at each other <laughs> and smiled as if their uh, their own nervousness and folly <laughs> you know and and they made whispering about you know, to each other the next chiming of the hour mm -hmm. should produce no similar uh, emotion and, and then after uh, uh, the lapse of 60 minutes I mean, if you add it all up, it's 3,600. Um, um, of the time that flies. Hmm. Oh, there yet came another chiming of the heavenly clock in that freaky last chamber. And there was the same disconcert and tremulousness and. Uh, meditation as before. Uh, well, look, in spite of this, you know, uh, uh, thing, uh, it was a uh, outrageous uh, and magnificent rebel. Uh, the taste of uh, Duke Trump was peculiar. Mm -hmm. He had a fine eye for colors and fiery. Yeah, he fired everybody especially his cabinet, even the colors uh, and uh, the effects. Uh, he disregarded the uh, decor of uh, mere fashion. I mean, truth, goodness, beauty, <laughs> what's that all about, he wondered. Don't want any of that around. Yeah. His plans were bold and fiery. Fiery. Well, in fact, that's the, uh, he was always furious, angry. <laughs> It was the main adjective. Uh, he was furious at the media uh, for their uh, <laughs> telling the truth. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> his conceptions uh, glowed with a barbaric luster. Uh, there are some who thought Trump was mad. His followers in the Red Death States <clears throat> thought he was not mad, yeah. But to be sure it was absolutely necessary to hear and see, and if you actually had to touch him, to be sure that he was not to 
Well, he had directed this whole masquerade, uh, the movable embellishments of the seven chambers upon each occasion. Uh, and it was his own guiding uh, disgust, I mean taste, that gave uh, the characteristic of the uh, masqueraders. And be sure they were, be sure they were grotesque. Uh, there was much glare and glitter, you know, on the uh, Las Vegas tits of his uh, prostitute core. On arabesque figures with unsuited limbs and appointments. Delirious fantasies? Mm -hmm. Such as madman fashions. There's much of the beautiful, much of the <laughs> wanton. Can you know that? <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, something of the terrible, disgusting, and the debauchery. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You ever throw a bacchanalia on a stack of cheeseburgers? And you, you know, it's it's sleazy, really. Um, to and fro in the seven chambers. Oh yeah, uh, stalked the multitude of dreams. Dreamers, not the dreamers uh, that he uh, kicked out of the country. Not not all those. Th a different kind of dreamers. They, they they had you know red dead them off. You know they can coronavirus up the ass with those uh, young uh, dreamers. Yeah. We're talking uh, uh, a flipped out uh, delusional Trump drooling dreamers. Yeah, the, uh, they rise to and from, and they took on the hues of the wind uh, of the rooms. You got a whole blue crowd, a whole green crowd, an orange crowd where they're giving up Trump weeks in there. Um, but anon. Is that some kind of Indian bread anon? Oh, no, no, anon. Oh, 1842? That means now. There are strikes. Does it really <laughs> That ebony clock, oh, yeah, which stands in the hall of the velvet with the scarlet blood windows that fire outside streaming in scarlet blood with dark velvet draperies yo and for a moment all was still again all was silent save the voice of the claw the dreams of the revelers, stiff, frozen, as they stand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the echoes of the chime die away. It doesn't take that long to strike the hour. So they die away, like, really. Um, yeah, the, the revelers had to do it before, but an instant, and then a light, <laughs> half-subdued laughter. Um, floats around them uh, as they depart into another chamber uh, where the back uh, uh, door uh, uh, deals are made. I mean, you, 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 you part a curtain and there's the uh, petroleum uh, lobby. You pull another one and it's the NRA. These guys are like hiding behind the drapes. Get Trump to go in there. And uh, your your pockets get stuffed. With more privileges. Yeah. Well, the music swells. <laughs> the dreams come back alive. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. To and fro, merrily, uh, just as ever. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But to the chamber that lies most westwardly. You know that seventh one? It's as west as you can get. Like Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Mm. It's as west as you can get in the United States. Like that last chamber. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, the blackness of the sable and the draperies appalls. That means grosses you out. And uh, to him, whose foot, oh, 
set in upon the sable carpet. Uh, there comes from the near clock of ebony a muffled peer. Peel? <clears throat> more solemnly emphatic than any that reaches the ears who indulge in the more remote gaieties of the other apartments. Gus Earth, I would just leave it at that because what's coming up, uh, we don't want to give our uh, viewers, uh, you know, cardiac arrest, cerebral hemorrhage, check them at the door uh, of the sixth uh, chamber. Anybody that has a temperature less than 107 degrees, blood pressure, I don't think, you think they can, they can handle it? Do you think you can handle it? Because a uh, planetary party crusher is coming in.